Hello, I'm Dr. Papia Bhattacharji. In this problem, we have to find the exponential function given by this expression that will pass through the two points 0, 0,2 and 4, 3. Now this exponential function has this particular form. It's of the form c times e to the power kt. So you notice that here our variables are t is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. Now for these problems, you should first make a plan as to how to solve this problem. What really need to be solved? What does it mean by finding the function that will pass through the two points? What it means is we have to find that particular function, that particular expression for this function. And that means we have to figure out this unknown quantity. This quantity c, that's a constant, and what is k? That's another constant. That's what it means by finding the function. Okay, now what is given to you? You should also have an idea of that, that you can apply and then figure out your constants. What is given is that the function is passing through these two points. That means you know that these points are going to be in the graph of the function, and so it will satisfy this equation when you plug in, say, 0 for the variable t and 2 for y, and same for 4 and 3. This is your t and this is your y. So let's, let's use that. So say we have the point 0, 2, and the function is passing through this point. So you plug that in, in the equation, it will be satisfied. So y is 2 is equal to c, we don't know, e to the power k, we also don't know, and plug in t value, 0. And now let's try to solve and see if we can figure out one of these constants from this equation. Okay. So notice the right hand side is e to the power 0 because k times 0 is just 0 and e to the 0 is 1 by the property of exponent. So this is just c times 1 and therefore we have the value for c. So c is 2. Okay. So one of the point gave us one constant. So the other point will give us the other constant, k. So let's try that next. So now we have the point 4, comma 3 that the function is passing through. So plug in 3 for y and 4 for t. So right hand side is c e to the power k times t is 4. Okay. Now note, we know the value for c already. So if you want, you can plug that in as well. c is 2, and this is e to the power 4k. Now we have to solve for k because this is an equation with just one variable k. So let's divide by 2 both sides, and then we get 3 over 2 is equal to e to the power 4k. Now how do we solve for k from there? Notice that this is an exponential function, an equation involving that, and in order to bring down the k from the exponent, we have to apply natural log to both sides. So apply natural log to the left side and to the right side, and from the inverse properties of natural log and exponential function, you know that they kind of cancel each other, and so the right hand side will just become whatever is in the exponent. And left hand side remains natural log of 3 half. So solve for k just by dividing by 4 both sides. That is the value of k, natural log of 3 half divided by 4. So we have both our constants, 
That's all we needed. Now we can write down the equation that will pass through these two points. So what is the equation? That is y is equal to c times c is 2 e to the power k is right here. So natural log 3 half over 4 t. So this is our final answer. Thank you.